Ti Allah, Ti Rasulullah Ulul Amri Minkum and always a reminder for myself, Ana Abdukul Ajis wa Da'ifu, Miskeen, wa Zalim, wa Jahad but for the grace of Allah that we're still in existence. Alhamdulillah for this holy month of Shahban, the month of Sayyidina Muhammad and from Allah wanting to be known as SubhanAllah man huwa khaliqul nur in Rajab that that light becomes known by the reality of Muhammad and Rasulullah And then the holy month of Shabban and all the holy souls that are born within this holy month and Nisf Shabban, the midpoint of the month, the 15th which is the 14th night, the celebration in which the Shabul Bara, the night of forgiveness, the nights of written destinies and immense lights, the spiritual new year in which Allah writes the destiny for that year of its good and bad and comings and goings and alhamdulillah to have been allowed to enter into this month that Allah gave us a life in which to enter into this holy month. We pray that Allah write for us from His immense rahmah and mercy for the sake of our love for Sayyidina Muhammad goodness and to take away all badness from our character and all badness from our destiny based on our character. That Allah's rahmah and the intercession of Sayyidina Muhammad to dress us and to bless us. So alhamdulillah for this immensely holy month and the holy weekend that we are starting with the birth of Imam al Hussein as salam, Imam Zain al Abidin as salam, and Imam uh, Abbas alayhi salam, and this uh, immense lights and blessings. And always a reminder for myself <clears throat> that the importance of how we see our life so that to recognize our blessings. So many talks, so many realities but some of the basics and the basic characteristics can make us to lose sight of a greater picture. The expression that uh, either the cup is half full or some may see the cup as half empty. <clears throat> in our lives and in our understanding that when we look at the world… Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, this is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also. Be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream, every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. ...world as a cup that's half empty, it's based on our expectations. That when we struggle with our expectations and we struggle with our desire, and our whole entrance into Islam and the way of Allah the love of Sayyidina Muhammad was our path to become nothing and submit to our Lord Allah Almighty. That Allah's will must be done. If Allah's will is my goal then seeing my life as a continuous cup that's half empty and the reality of that struggle is the struggle with submission to Allah So the character is then something of an issue. So when, a, when we believe that everything is a cup half empty and then people have to recognize 
how we carry that through in everything that we do. That when we don't get the time that we want to spend with somebody and we complain. We don't get the raise that we wanted and we complain. We don't get the opportunities that we wanted and we complain. We don't, whatever it is it carries through in every aspect of our life. So then people have to think on a daily basis of every issue that they're concerned of. And are we a person that sees it as a cup half empty? Means that my cup should have been full and I'm really saying that I'm upset with Allah that it's only at the halfway point. And tariqah comes for us to make our tafak or make our contemplation because we're talking all these holy nights. What's the benefit of holy nights when people are absorbed within themselves and they for, forget the path of submission and submit to Allah their hearts become locked and they put their desire before the path of submission. And for this heavenly path always a reminder for ourselves it's to see everything as half full. That whatever Allah has given to me it could have been less, much less. So the path of nazar bar qadam to keep my eyes upon my feet because instead of focusing on not having shoes there are those whom have no feet. Means that everything could be down. The time that you don't think you have with somebody, well Allah could take them completely away and you'd have no time at all with that person. The job that you didn't get a, a raise, Allah could have just not given you the job at all and it wouldn't be even a matter of a raise, it would be a matter of you not having any income or sustenance. So everything for Allah is a path in which to be thankful. Means that when Allah describes that He is with the sabireen and that he wants for his servants to have patience and continuously thanking. Alhamdulillah wa shukran lillah Ya Rabbi, alhamdulillah wa shukran lillah. Because it takes away from us my willing or pushing for Allah to submit to me. And to remind myself that alhamdulillah wa shukran illah that Allah has given everything to me and I have to be content with what I have, the cup that I have, it's half full because it could have been half of that too. Our concept of what full is, is what shaitan is playing with us. He makes the cup look very long and says, look it's half full or it's half empty but in reality you could cut that cup and say, look it's full and what I got is a lot better than if Allah took it down. By alhamdulillah wa shukran lillah Allah inshaAllah to keep it at that, Ya Rabbi thank you for what you have given. Whatever I'm desiring what you have given to me, thank you Ya Rabbi don't let it to be lessened. In your oceans of ni'mat and barakah, your oceans of blessings that expand what you want to give and don't contract and take that away. And Allah's promises be a shakireen means that to thank me, thank me and I give you more. But shaitan's goal is to block that. How can somebody thank Allah when they're so busy thinking the cup is, the cup is empty? Like you didn't put enough in it Ya Rabbi, it's empty, it's empty. They're at a complete opposite of thanking Allah but it's trying to get Allah to force, you're trying to force the hand with Allah that, you didn't answer my prayer and then as if you didn't submit to me and the path is based on 
and depending upon what you want and how much you want it, it's even more dangerous. Because the more you want it, the more Allah is watching that this path and our life and our existence is not about Allah listening to us and uh, following what we want, but our life was to submit to Allah and to be from Sabireen and to have patience. Ya Rabbi alhamdulillah for the time that I have, for the family that I have, for the rizq that I have, not all of what I want more of but from what I have that don't take it away, don't make difficulty to come so that misfortune becomes my awakening and to awaken my eyes. I don't need to see misfortune for my eyes to be awake. So the tariqah has a, a deep way of tafakkur, means the people whom are in meditation they have to meditate on a daily basis. That whatever it is that we are asking for and whatever opening people are asking for, whatever concerns people are having, in their meditation they have to realize that this issue that we're continuously thinking about, we have to always remember the cup is full, half full. You can even cut the top part off and say, it's actually full, Ya Rabbi shukr for whatever you have sent to me. As a result shaitan doesn't play with us to be distracted with, I didn't get what I wanted. And then therefore the bad character enters and the ni'mat and what Allah has given will be completely overlooked. And that's the danger that shaitan puts upon people for their path towards submission. Something so subtle that they forget to realize. We said that all the things that people want, how often people go completely with love and ishq and everything that, Ya Rabbi I can't imagine you gave me the tariqah. Because everybody's got all sorts of wishes and desires. But in reality Allah said, I gave you the greatest gift imaginable. I gave you from the secret of the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad I put you on this path like gold bricks into the reality and the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad In reality nothing should be asked above that. But we're not and this is the role of shaitan is to distract us from this great accomplishment and to have so many reasons for prayers and complaints and issues and I didn't get this, this didn't happen, shaykh I keep praying, this not opening. But the greatest opening has occurred is that Allah led us on the tariqah, led us to hear about the love of Prophet to sit in the company of awliyaullah and to consume their knowledges. That is the great accomplishment in faith that out of seven to eight billion people upon this earth I don't think but a few hundred thousand are in tariqah. So that becomes less than one percent whom Allah have given this golden reality of the love of Sayyidina Muhammad And shaitan's role and he does it very well is to completely block all of these issues and everyone has, if you let them they'll come into your office and talk a half hour about their problems. This didn't come, this didn't come, this one, this I want, this I want, I want this, 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 I want this. And this is the work of shaitan, this is how shaitan operates. The shaykhs have to teach people, this is how shaitan plays with us to make us want so many things and be distracted with so many things and so many things didn't come. But the greatest realization is that he gave me a path towards the love of Sayyidina Muhammad The family that I do have I must cherish it. The time I have with loved ones I must cherish it because Allah can take that time away too. If you thought it was two days 
Allah make it one day, Allah make it no days. So it means everything in life is about uh, immense shukr, immense love and, and contentment with our Lord. That Rabbi alhamdulillah wa shukran lillah. That from whatever you're giving and that's why we said the du'a of Fawdu Amri in Allah and Allahu Basirun bi ibad. It's the du'a with an adab that says, Alhamdulillah wa shukran lillah. But for what the Amri in Allah, that for verily Allah sees His servant. See, with the adab that you're saying thankfulness and gratefulness. But verily you see my condition, so the one whom condition is coming short or in difficulty, they keep asking that Allah sees my condition. And it's for Allah to feel that pity and remorse that this is a servant in which is continuously thankful. As a result of being thankful I will open and give and relieve a difficulty. But when the servant is in a competition that you're not listening astaghfirullah, you're not giving what I'm asking, you draw farther from that goal because Allah doesn't submit, Allah is not intimidated, Allah is not threatened, Allah is not challenged and just make ourselves like we're hitting our head against the wall. Some may try to do for a while and then eventually run away or fade away. We pray that Allah give us a deeper understanding about the cup is full and to be thankful for what we have, focus on what we have, that which we want that not to put into the heart. But wa fawda amri in Allah, in Allahu basirun bil ibad. That you see my condition Ya Rabbi, alhamdulillah wa shukran lillah. It's for Allah to determine what is needed in that family, what is needed in their sustenance, what's needed in their work. Somebody may even complain, oh I'm shaykh, I'm applying, 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 I don't even get a credit card. I think maybe Allah knows that if you got a credit card you would probably max it out and have no control over yourself. Because Allah is the best of planners, He knows. When the servant is not meant to receive something or is meant to receive. If they are meant to receive it, there's nothing on this earth that can stop them from receiving Allah's gift. And if they're not meant to receive it and that's in everything and in every aspect of our life and our faith, and you Allah described you can go to everyone on earth. And if you're not meant to receive it, you will not receive it. Then people start to listen to shaitan and they go here and there and they try to make alternative sort of manipulations of the way. But taslim and faith is the one whom relies on Allah takes a path of tabr and patience and goes about their ibadah and their worshipness. And awliyaullah teach that if you're capable of having sabr means you're capable of forgetting of what you were asking, forget what you asked for. So that Allah can graciously surprise the servant. Because we said that the, the greatest difficulty to sabr is what people want, anticipation and what their perception of what they should be doing or should receiving or what their value, what they should have. When we can lose what we expected, we're happy with whatever Allah sends to us. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifu wa salamun al mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al Fatiha. As Salaamu Alaykum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs 
that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.